Okay, we're going to get started with the next session here. Um, we've got uh, Saber Razumjui from uh, Lutra Consulting. He's going to he's working on open source geospatial projects in web mapping, geodatabases, and desktop GIS. And he's the product owner for the open source field data collection and sync projects input and merge in, uh, which is what he's going to talk about today. So I'm just going to add him to the stream. Um, I think you are muted there, Sever, and when you're ready to go. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, let's go. Hi, can you hear me okay and can you see my screen? Hello? Yeah, all good. Uh, yeah, you're cool. good to go. Brilliant. Cool. Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, and good night, maybe, whatever time zone you are. And thanks for joining my uh, presentation. Today I'm going to talk to you about the full stack open source uh, uh, set of tools to help you with data collection and field survey. Uh, a bit of introduction. Uh, we are from Lutra Consulting. Uh, we are a QGIS core developer. Uh, and help several organizations and um, uh, uh, governments to migrate to open source. We um, provide support and training uh, primarily for open source uh, applications. And the tools I'm going to talk to you about is uh, uh, input and matching. And we have also a, a web mapping platform called Cloud Mapping. So, starting with the uh, data collection, um, usually people we talk to, they, they are very happy with pen and paper, but often it involves quite a lot of work because um, they don't know where they are uh, and they would like to take some data with them to the field so they know uh, uh, they orient themselves and also the data they collect uh, usually is linked with other data set and their data format is quite complex from Excel spreadsheet to text data, Microsoft Word reports, PDF, and uh, if you work in geospatial, your favorite file format, shapefile. And uh, usually this involves, they can't obviously take their whole computer. Uh, they would like to have it uh, through an app on their mobile phone and uh, uh, usually it requires some sort of USB cable or memory card if you still have one of those old phones. And it's not only them collecting data, they would like to have it uh, collaborative, so multiple people can edit the same data. And uh, as it's field work, they would like to have some uh, full availability for the data offline. Uh, so, to address these issues, we uh, started from a mobile app uh, which can support uh, multiple uh, spatial data set, has got a map view and uh, you can see where you are, uses the uh, mobile uh, hardware like camera, GPS, and uh, the app should uh, be able to handle multiple uh, file formats. And then in addition to that, uh, for data transfer and collaborative, we thought of a service that can uh, store data, synchronize and uh, transfer and share data. So starting with the mobile app, um, uh, we had uh, uh, QGIS is a popular open source desktop application. So we decided to base the app on QGIS uh, and uh, kind of offer the QGIS functionality for a touch-friendly uh, app. Uh, the mobile app we have created is uh, input app. Uh, the links uh, for the, its open source. You can see the uh, source code on at the bottom here, and the uh, you uh, have your uh, the app available on. Uh, uh, iOS and uh, on Google Play Store. Uh, 
as I said, is based on QGIS, so it supports pretty much all data formats and the styling and the forms in QGIS. So data formats like uh, Excel, Shapefile, GeoPackage, and web services uh, like uh, WMS, Vector, Raster Tiles, PostGIS. And uh, the styling, uh, you do it once in QGIS and it appears the same in the app. Uh, so the left side, this is the map in QGIS. And as you open it in the app, you will see the same map and same data in uh, the input app. Uh, it supports all the complex symbologies and uh, um, styling from QGIS. So uh, likewise with form, uh, it supports all sorts of uh, uh, different types of uh, widgets, as they call it, like calendar, checkboxes, uh, photos, relations. Uh, you can have flexible layouts with it as well and uh, advanced features like constraints to make sure the data you collected complies with some sort of uh, um, uh, data uh, model you have. You have got defaults and uh, um, also relations so you can link your data as you collect them. Uh, for example, this is the form layout in your QGIS when you transfer the same data in uh, input, uh, you will be able to see the, mm, for in this case, photos are attachment and you can see, you can use your camera to take a photo, check boxes, default values uh, for what the survey is. And then uh, you have also, in this case, it's uh, um, drilled on forms. So um, the values changes based on the, um, the previous attribute you have filled in. So just to show that those complex form uh, setups is supported in input. Uh, also, uh, you can have uh, uh, relations. So for example, attaching multiple photos to a single form uh, feature, or if you have multiple inspections for let's say a manhole, you can uh, attach that uh, inspection to the same single point or single geometry. Uh, and uh, you can capture all sorts of data, line, point, polygon. If you, cap you are capturing line and polygon, you can use your GPS streaming as you walk to convert the GPS stream to a line or polygon. Uh, it, it's not only uh, uh, for spatial data, but you can um, work with non-spatial data, uh, like uh, uh, attribute formats, attribute forms, and uh, um, a type of uh, you know, non-spatial tables. You can search and add data to them. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind: you don't need. Uh, input uh, QGIS to build the project. So you can just simply download the app from app stores and uh, um, add your uh, projects, create your project uh, and uh, uh, start surveying. So uh, up to this point, you have collected data on your phone, but uh, if you were to transfer the data or share the data, and sync it with other uh, work. Uh, we have, uh, you might have some problems using cables, but with the uh, service we offer with merging, uh, it allows you to uh, do all those tasks. So you have uh, a web interface for that. This is all public merging, and uh, you can upload your project's data there and then in input you download the project, synchronize data, or if you have got a project created on your device, you can upload it there. Uh, again, Imagine is open source as well, so you can uh, have your own instances, which I cover a bit. Uh, the Imagine service is uh, for sharing. 
collaborative editing, uh, 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 versioning and tracking the changes and also allows you to use uh, offline and online. And you don't need to know any code. You just register and start uploading your data. In this example, I have multiple contributors to my uh, project as a reader, writer, and this person owner. Uh, then mm, those people can download the same project on their mobile app and start editing. Once you start editing and pushing your changes, uh, each version of your, each push will create a new version of data. So you'll be able to download the previous versions and see uh, different version who pushed uh, the changes. Uh, for example, in version 11, I made some changes to one file and you can uh, dive deeper and see the changes. So the change was uh, to this file. Uh, and uh, you can even see what I have changed. So I added two points at these two locations. Um, as you can see, it's, it's very detailed for the um, changes you make to your data. Uh, the pricing uh, for merging service, it's free and open source. We have got a community edition. Uh, it's AGPL and uh, you can just simply download, uh, clone this repo and run a couple of Docker command and you will have your own instance and uh, you, uh, in input you can point uh, your um, merging instance uh, to be your own server. Uh, and uh, if you want to use our, our uh, public service, the one hosted by us, uh, you can see the pricing here uh, and the pricing is uh, first of all the unlimited projects and unlimited contributors or seats and you can try it for 30 days as well for free. In addition to uh, these tools we have also um, uh, this uh, the service we have also introduced a bunch of tools to help you with your uh, project creation and automating your tasks. First one is uh, merging uh, plugin in QGIS. When you install the plugin in your um, QGIS, you will be able to see the same sort of uh, view as in input, your projects, the project shared with you, and public projects. You can download them or clone them or uh, uh, browse those data. Uh, you can also package your existing project from uh, QGIS. Uh, so you load your existing project from your network drive or wherever they are. And with this wizard, it helps you to uh, package it and send a, like a self-contained project to merge in ready for your survey. Uh, you can also uh, see what changes you make on your data as you push data to uh, merging. So in this example, uh, for, um, I've created a point and I've made some changes to the QGIS project. It also validates your data to make sure that, for example, if you have uh, online uh, layers, it will warn you that it, this layer might not be available offline. Uh, then uh, we have uh, work packages. Uh, work packages, it's uh, often the case that uh, you have multiple teams of uh, surveyors. You want to work on different parts of your project and you want to have uh, uh, like a segregated uh, access for each of those teams. You don't want uh, uh, people from different uh, companies to see each other's work. So with these work packages, you take a project and it splits it either based on spatial distribution or based on uh, some attribute fields and it creates uh, uh, some packages, work packages in merging and then they can go on independently, team B for example, make some changes to the project and then pushes it and the main project here gets updated. Team A can do the same, 
but team A and B won't be able to see each other work. Uh, uh, and then another tool is a database uh, synchronization tool specifically for PostGIS. Uh, it allows you to take uh, your PostGIS table and make it available to merging uh, for offline use. So you don't need to imagine you have a post GIS behind your um, corporate firewall and you don't want to access that from the field or you want to have access to it offline. With this tool, it takes a copy of it and uh, makes it uh, for available uh, offline editing uh, on your input project. And every time you make changes to the uh, data either on post GIS or your uh, input project, those two will sync together. Uh, in addition to uh, those, we have also uh, SDKs and APIs for developers. If um, uh, you want to automate your uh, project creation, upload and download, uh, going back to previous versions of your project or even uh, integrate the whole merging uh to your own software you can use the python or c++ apis uh, or, uh, and tools so. uh, then uh, we are uh, going to add some new features for the next couple of months uh, for inputs uh, and the gps panel so you get an idea of the uh, accuracy of uh, gps the number of satellites uh, the, this feature is already available. You can record those uh, data in a table, but uh, just as a visualization for users to be able to see the um, uh, GPS um, live on their screen, we will add a panel for that. And uh, also there will be uh, stakeout, so you can navigate to a certain point and it tells you uh, how long the distance is and when you reach a point it will uh, let you know and for merging uh, we are going to add a map view so you will be able to see your um, um, map representation and it won't be just a, a files view uh, and uh, webhooks plus uh, media sync uh, with any survey, you will end up with uh, hundreds of uh, or thousands of uh, uh, photos. So with Media Sync, you will be able to uh, sync at the moment one way your uh, data to uh, Amazon S3 buckets or Dropbox or Google Drive. So it will make your project a bit lighter. And uh, all these tools I've explained, they are all open source. So um, you can um, join our efforts and uh, see if you have any problems to start uh, with uh, report an issue. Uh, for the app, it's already been, the input app has been already uh, translated to tens of languages. But if you would like, you can join the translation team and translate it to your language. Uh, and uh, we will be extremely happy if you contribute to those open source projects as well. If you have any question, you can join our uh, help channel and ask your questions. And questions now, if you have any. Thanks, Severe. That's that's great. Yeah, uh, looks like looks like a great product. I haven't used it myself, but I've heard lots of people saying really nice things about it. So really nice to hear that detailed talk. So we've got some um, lots of interest here. People want to know. Um, a, qu a couple of people have asked. Could you highlight the main differences between input and queue field? Um, input. Uh, first of all, it was built from uh, uh, to be compatible for um, uh, iOS and. Uh, Google Play Store, so it's been available for two years on both platforms. It's uh, more intuitive uh, and it doesn't have complex workflows. You essentially deal with three, four buttons. Uh, I'm just browsing to this, for example, you just have uh, four or five buttons. 
uh, and uh, it's it's uh, what I would say is just more intuitive and more uh, uh, much simpler to use. But both of them they use obviously QGIS under the hood, so all this styling and forms they use the same QGIS engine. Okay. Um, and also one more thing is input comes with synchronization tool with matching, so you, you don't need any cable to sync your data. All right. Okay, great. Um, here's a question. So Mergen is compatible with, um, I mean, you talked about how, it's how it works with PostGIS, but they're asking if it's compatible with SQL Server. Uh, not at the moment, but it should be possible to uh, add SQL Server uh, to the DB Sync tool as well. Uh, we had the idea to make it generic so it's not tied up to a specific uh, database and we can in future add uh, Oracle or Microsoft SQL if it's needed. Hmm. Uh, is it planned to make input available via F-Droid? Uh, not at the moment. We have uh, we have it on Google Play Store and um, um, uh, that uh, Huawei app, app can some, uh, but uh, not on F Droid. There is a bit of work to be done, but uh, it, it will be good to have it yeah. on F Droid. Uh, does it support different alphabets such as Arabic and Cyrillic? Yeah, it is uh, translated actually fully to Arabic and Hebrew, and uh, yeah, it has yeah, it supports uh, right to left, and the interface is uh, uh, translated to those languages. Fantastic. Um, here's a question. How secure is the Mergen service? Uh, where is the data stored? Uh, the security, well, uh, you have got the source code, you can aud audit the source code and see how secure it is. Um, and uh, uh, we are hosting it, our service is uh, hosted on Amazon uh, in, uh, in the EU. But as I said, it's open source and you can run your own instance uh, behind your own infrastructure uh, firewall and run it on your own infrastructure for free. Um, so similar to the comparison, I guess, between input and queue field, somebody's asking, um, what are the main differences between input and open data kit collect or ODK collect? And I wonder if you have any thoughts on that. Uh, I honestly haven't used uh, ODK, but um, from what I understand, uh, input is more um, uh, spatially oriented and uh, it can collect lines and polygons. I don't know if ODK can collect uh, um, uh, it can only, I think, collect points. I, I haven't used it, so I can't comment on that. But um, what have we got here? So, can you use Mergen to pull and push production staging production? Uh, Not sure. I totally understand the question, but I, I am honest, and I don't understand that either. But. Uh, with the um, APIs we have, uh, you should be able to automate those uh, push pulls directly from Python. So you can write your own script and tools to automatically create and upload data. And we are planning to do some web hooks for different uh, action happening in, on the project. But uh, I, feel free to drop me an email and expand on that. Uh, I, probably have missed the point. Okay, and um, here's probably a good one to finish on. Um, can you use external GNSS devices for locating? Uh, yeah, if uh, you, at the moment it's only, we are only supporting Bluetooth. Uh, so uh, if you uh, connect to your Bluetooth, both on Android and iOS, you should be able to uh, see the external GNSS signal. Right. Okay, well, fantastic, Sabera. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that with us. We'll, um, yeah, we'll let you go. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, and good luck for the rest of the conference. Thanks, John. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay.
Cheers. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Bye.